governor Uzodima is the one stopping Namde Kano from being released. DSS officer confess expose hidden truth. Okay, uh, my dear listeners, I greet all everyone out there listening to this very broadcast. Um, governor Ob Uzodima Uzodima has been exposed. Yes, let me put it that way. He has been exposed. Um, you know, all this why we have been saying it, that the Southeast governors are the ones behind um the, the, the behind the reason why Namde Kano has not been released or this why. Um now the truth is now out. It's not the whole Southeast governors, but just an individual in the midst of the governors. And um, that very person is no other person but Governor Opozanima. So when I, even when I saw it, I was like, I'm not surprised because this same guy is the same person who tried to stop IPOP or an uh, ESN from, function, from functioning, you know, for him to achieve his uh, Islamization agenda. But hand on touch him. All right, uh, let's quickly go very straight to the content and then let's see what the truth holds. This is today's news. The family of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namde Kano, has accused Southeast governors of preventing the release of the pro Biafran agitator Kano's brother. Prince Emmanuel said Southeast governors should learn from other zones who worked for their freedom and fighters. In a statement he signed, Emmanuel accused Justice Binta Nyako of the Federal High Court Abuja of being an obstacle to Kano's freedom. The statement read partly. South is God knows, why are you stopping the freedom of your own son? To what benefit is it to keep your son perpetually incarcerated? Pointing fingers at Governor Op Uzodema, he said that Uzodema has been the bone behind this very issue. He has been the problem. Within the Southeast governors and the reason why the Southeast has not really achieved its objective. Namdul Kano has been a bottle in the neck of Governor Op Uzodima. Uzodima several times has wanted the Southeast to be a forgotten thing, but kept failing. Failing with his Islamization agenda and plan to relocate Fulanese to the southeast. Governor Op Uzodima, you are the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum and by extension the political rallying point of the Southeast political leaders. Therefore, what is stopping you from showing leadership and leading from the front to go release your brother? Our candid view this very day and this very month is to advise you to release Namdi Kano and let him go. Thank you for listening to today's news. Hmm. Um, my dear listeners, this is um, this is unbelievable. Yes, let me put it that way. Unbelievable in the sense that Governor Opus Odema knows all this, but you know, kept hiding, hiding from the truth. But for how long will he hide from the truth? Um, Nam the Kano will not die, you nothing will happen to him. But if anyone is saying that he wants anything to happen to Namde Kano. That is the person's own cup of tea. Because if God really wants 
anything to happen to Namdi to Nam Kano long ago. Namdi Kano would have been forgotten. But God did not want anything of such to happen. So that is why God is still preserving and keeping him. Keeping him to this very moment. So um, I want to join the IPOP members for the calling of Namdekano's freedom. Because to me, that is what needs to be achieved now. Delay could be dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Yeah, DSS is now the target. It's now their main target. Except we don't want Namdekano to be free. Yes. All right, uh, let me quickly hear from you on this same uh, matter and then let's know what you take, what your advice and what your opinions actually is. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new video.